Welcome back to Anarchy in the Ukulele. Katie here again. Um, we're going to do a review, but today we're going to do something different. We're going to do an unboxing on something rather exciting. Okay, so what have we got? We've got something to unbox. It's from Flight. So we've done a few flights recently, but this is another one. But this is something a little bit different. Um, the box has taken a bit of a bit of a hammer in there, um, which is a slight worry. Uh, at some point, I'll show you the box that this actually came in. This huge box, taller than I was, which is a bit silly. Um, right, let's have a look. Let's just pop this open. So I've been quite excited by this. This is. Um, this is a new product from Flight, and um, I haven't seen any of the reviews of it yet, so this might be a first. Um, and I think we are probably one of the first in the UK to get hold of it. So, let's see what we've got, shall we? Um, what's the best camera? Let's try and do this so you can see. Okay, so we've got a gig bag. So we've got a nice gig bag in blue. Um, so this is interesting. We have a jack cable. Now the thing is, so presumably we've got something that's electric. Or well, certainly got a pickup in it. Ooh. A jack cable and an Allen key for adjustments. Put that down there. Um, now these jack cables that manufacturers give you, they're not brilliant. Um, so do yourself a favour, get yourself a decent cable. And I can't stress this enough, to be honest with you. Get a really decent cable. They come with long, some of them come with like 10 year guarantees on them and they will last you that and longer if you pay for a decent cable. Don't skimp on the cable. So I'm not going to use that, but... Um, at least they put it in there for if someone wants to, you know, they've just bought one of these, they want to try it out straight away, they've got a cable to try it with. Get rid of those. So, what do we have? Lovely blue case, really nice. Um, it's a bit, it's like a slimmer version of the red cases that um, we got with the anniversary series flights and the fireball flight. Let's see what we've got. So, I've not looked at this. But I am quite excited by it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Um, nice padded bit for the neck around the gig case. The gig bag. Put that down there. Ugh. All right then. So this is electric. And Flight have done a number of uh, electrics recently, solid body electrics. But like I say, this one's brand new. So what is different about this one? Well, I know what's different about it. It's a base. It's a base. So I've got to be careful not to call this a U-base, because I think U-base is just a car, I think. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Um, we've got some brown paper wrapping around the strings just to keep them in good condition. Let's see what we can do there. Oh, let's get the layers off. A little bit of silicon. Oh, it's not flight branded silicon. Cheap rubbish. It's not cheap rubbish, just silicon. Um, Rode, do, Rode microphones do their own branded silicon, and Bongo Boy loves that. It's all over it, it's been collecting them. Um, wow, okay. So, colour scheme. Some of you might recognise it from my anniversary series. Uh, uke, my tenor uke, that I love. Flight do seem to be going down this, so I think with um, their kind of strat um, electric guitar, 
they've got a very similar color scheme i like it if you don't like it i guess you're a bit stuffed really but um i do like it i like it a lot this looks really cool so what have we got this is a flight electric base solid body um with metal strings metal wound strings so a bit different from your u-base that have the rubbery strings and sound sort of um double bass ish this one's more for the, it's from what flight call their rock series now i don't know where, how you hold it i'm guessing you hold it I'm guessing you hold it down there because you wouldn't hold it like a ukulele would you you wouldn't sort of which I guess is going to come on to a point because that kind of feels a more natural position in your hand because you used to have your hand down here somewhere at the base, whereas this is quite near to you, but... Wow. This feels like a proper base. It is weird because it's tiny. And I wasn't sure I was going to like it, to be honest. Um, so we've got lots of plastic covering here and there. I presume that's where you get into all the workings. It looks to me like it's a passive base. I'm going to pull all these off so it looks nice. I know some reviewers don't, but um, hey-ho. Some of these review instruments we're going to be selling at some point um, because we've got so many that we've bought. And we're only going to keep the ones that we really like, but um, some of the ones that we're going to sell are going to be absolute bargains. They're all good. Well, they're not all good, actually. That's a lie. <laughs> Perhaps I should say we're only going to sell the good ones. So if we're selling one, it's going to be a good one. Wow. Well, I think I've got to plug this baby in, get it tuned up. Oh, wow. God, you can you can bend those it's way easier than kind of a normal bass. That's for sure. So we've got volume and tone. More study. A bit more top end. Right, let's get this bad boy tuned up. Okay. So what have we got? Um, we've got awesomeness. That's what we've got. And I wasn't expecting it to be. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go. It's a little, it's a small little base. It's, nice. it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. It's brilliant. Um, anyway. Right. So body shape, mini base. Top. It's quilted maple laminate. Quilted maple on the top. And I'll be honest. I mean, it's this blue to sort of white again. That, that Paul, Paul absolutely hates. <laughs> but I think it's, I think it's brilliant. I think it's, it's gorgeous. It's so nice to look at. You can just see little bits. It's kind of a pearly. Really like it. Really, really like that. Um, solid mahogany body. Hardtail fixed bridge. It means you've got this metal fixed bridge on here. Um, it just means that your string spacing is always going to be correct. Um, so it's going to play nice and smoothly. Great for intonation. You can change your intonation with these little screws in here. Um, so all good, really. And I guess if I'm looking at it, that's the only thing I'd say is we're not lining up over the pickups brilliantly well. Um, so we might want to do a little bit of movement in there, I think. Um, so we've got that um, string size 045 to 105. <laughs> So, slightly thinner than normal bass strings, but that's because of the scale length. The scale length is um, 20 inches. Um, so, much shorter, much shorter scale bass than any short scale bass that you'll get out there. Electric bass, certainly. Um, other than ukulele type electric basses, which there are a few, but um, this is the first one by flight. I think they do an acoustic U bass type thing, but this is the first electric bass by flight. Um, neck roasted maple and that it, that is beautiful really nice let's show you down here Boom. really nice roasted maple neck which is a bit of a thing at the minute um i don't know if it's a fad or not but it, it kind of has a really nice feel to it because it's not gloss it's a very satin sort of feel to it it's lovely really smooth 
Really nice. Um, fretboard rosewood. Nice a bone nut on the top there. Um, black, which I presume is quite unusual for a bone nut, but anyway, dyed, don't know. Nut width, 40 millimeters. Pickups, um, two Alnico 5P style pickups in there, uh, in a staggered formation. Staggered. Um, nice, nice pickups, good base pickups that they've got going there. Um, chrome volume knob, so that's your volume there and tone knob there. Um, they feel nice, nice and smooth. There's no noise on either of them. Yeah, really nice, really nice. So offset position markers at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th. And then again at the 15th, 17th, 19th and 21st. Um, I think Flight, you got that a bit wrong on your on your website. Um, so you might have a look at that. Because um, I think you've got the 10th in there and only going up to the 19th. Which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So you've got an, you've got an extra one. You're, you're doing yourself down with your marketing. Get that 21st fret marketed. You sell a million of them. Um, so yeah, really nice. So... Um, Unbranded tuners, but they feel nice. They feel they feel okay. Um, they're not heavy. They're, they're certainly quite light to tune. Um, more importantly, what does it sound like? You're going to hear this through too. You've been hearing it straight through the DI, I think, so far. Um, but we've also got it plugged into our little Ampeg Micro CL bass amplifier, which is really nice for ukulele basses. Um, it's small, it's easy to carry around, it's around about £400, um, but highly recommend that one. Maybe we'll do a review on that at some point. Um, and then we're also going through a Studio Spares DI, sort of fairly standard DI box, nothing special, going into our desk, which that's going into the audience part of our desk. Um, but it's going in clean, so you're hearing that clean the eyed and then some of it will be on the mic and we'll put on the screen, which is wet. Let's have a play. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Awesome. Love it. Um, and actually some things that are a little bit harder to reach on a normal bass are much easier on this bass, which is great. Um, some point i mean sorry um what else we got what else we got intonation there's a little bit off but i'm i'm going to give the strings the benefit of the doubt on that and maybe a little bit of adjustment down here just to get that intonation on so it needs a bit of a setup i think straight out of the box but this has come straight out of the box so it needs a little bit set up on the intonation to get those octaves a little bit flat so we just want to drag that back a little bit drag it back no we want to push it forward a little bit get the intonation correct um which you know that's an easy job to do a little bit of a setup i mean i'm going up what am i going up there i'm going up four semitones at the third threat on on the bottom e string um which is a bit mental i won't have any fingers left at the end of it um yeah, top wrist is nice. Let's have a, that's with all that's with all the treble on. I like quite I like quite a dull bass tone. Face face. <laughs> um, oh, I apologise for parts of this review. 
But I'm just having great fun with it. Um, oh, I've left I've left my driving glasses on as well, so I apologise for that. Sorry, people. You know when you get to a certain age and you need driving glasses, and I've got ones that like my dad would have worn. <laughs> but uh, never mind. Um, so, flight electric base part of their rock series. Really nice. Really, I, we're going to get some thumping big tones out of this. You can slap it. I'm not a slap player. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a slap player anyway, shape or form. Um, It's, it's, it sounds like a bass guitar to me, which is awesome. If you're playing a ukulele band and you don't want to be like the cop-out player, play a big bass because it's a ukulele band, play one of these. You're not going to have any trouble with feedback. Um, yeah, playing technique is a little bit different to a U bass, but more in line with a normal bass. I think it's great. I think um, Flight probably make a few more colors do you know what i would love 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 one of these um maybe going like a black to white fade or black to light gray fade um just something a bit different or being as we uh our colors for anarchy in the uk i'd love an orange one love a bright orange one um so it may be a little bit different from the blue but i mean i like it but it would just be nice you know, if I was on stage and I had this and my other one, it, it, it seems like I've got some kind of fetish for blue and white ukuleles. Maybe I have. Who knows? So, yeah, Weldon Flight. Awesome uh, bass guitar. Really like it. Um, I'll try and play something nice for you to go out, but I'm not really a bass player. So we'll see what we come up with. Okay, thanks again for watching, and um, please do comment. We we love all the comments on our video, so please do comment, and we uh, we try and get back to you. But um, like, subscribe, and ring the bell on my own again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.